All right, let's snoop around. That was that? Okay. Hmm. I never would have taken down for a gun owner. Mm hmm So he was concerned about his safety, huh? Ooh, testament. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. All right. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. Ah. Uh, when was it signed? When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Oh, that's nice. So he was thinking about me. Uh... Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Hmm, I see. Um, congrats, I guess. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. Well, probably that wasn't very nice because apparently he was not in debt, but apparently he didn't have much money, so that A few probably bucks. Just petty cash. Was um not very nice to tell her. <laughs> Well, um, let me find more with this nice sticky stick action. No. N no. Would that keep going on forever? I don't know. Let's not find out. Can we talk to her again? Can we talk to the gorilla again? Somebody needs to know. Oh, the injury with weekly, yes. Uh, insurance. What about insurance? I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. I. Uh, interview with Weekly. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well. Let's just ask. Uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out exactly? Ah, uh, leak. Well, you know how these things... I don't even want to hear you. Oh. I just hope you prove <laughs> your professional worth before the day is over. Oops. That probably wasn't a good answer. I know who had your mother's I ring. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Mm. Yes, I think this. Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Okay, I told her. Thank you. Well, she probably didn't like this. She probably doesn't like this. You failed to keep Mary's secret. Well, should I have? Should I have kept it? Yeah, I already did this. I think I don't need to do it again. Okay. Well, did you find anything interesting in those papers? Did Mary no. ask me to keep Investigation it? Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. I uh, hope she's not gonna do anything uh, to Mary now. What should he, she have against her? Well, you failed to keep Mary's secret. That sounds like I failed at something. Like, it is a bad thing to... Well, you know. Okay, uh... Good evening, Mr. Gorilla. Any news? Joe Dunn. Gun in the safe. Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... Huh. When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. It's one of Early those, one Bobby. morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. He's a dog, then. So, Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. Aww. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. So he got him off the streets again. That's cute. 
That explains it again. All right. Do we have some new dedication stuff to do? -do? Nope, I'm a stupid little kitty today. Maybe talk to Smirnoff again, my dear friend Smirnoff. Maybe we found some new evidence that could help him. And we should, I mean, we kept our promise that we, that we told weekly, but Sonia wasn't happy about the interview thing. Uh, information got leaked. <laughs> Sounds very suspicious. Goddamn. Maybe not the best way to go about that. Smirnoff. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Yes. Dunn and the Jim's cleaning lady were about to get married. Oh, uh, this again? The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced. But I might have something. Oh, this is where the story continues. In the loading screen, the dark abyss of the loading screen. Ah, oh, goodbye jukebox. Looks pretty though. Life is often off key, like a bad song. Oh, did something the shitty notes come happen? together, but feel flat. Unable to create anything resembling music. Smirnoff? Can I talk to me? And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. Okay. Typical philosophically tired, monologuing of John. I was born tired. I was born tired. I'm used to it. You're not the only one. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. He's Just funny. got back from the annual police medical. It looks like he's got two eyebrows. Not only did I have to fast. <laughs> two sets of I eyebrows. I also chugged two enormous <laughs> glasses of water. John, you all right? I like how he's animated though. Um, um, I've been better. I've had better days. And I'll have them again. I hope. We both deserve to. Aye. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. Yeah. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Then just give me that envelope and Even we pretend... Even if it was lying on top of this table. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah, sure, good idea. If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, sure. You are very close to the mic, Mr. Smirnoff. Very sexy voice, though. Steady! Oh, I can read it. He will take it back again. A smart and preliminary. Okay, okay, uh, where to start? Just read everything. All right. Deceased, yes. Uh-huh, but or. Oh, a lynx, he was. I thought a cheetah or something. Yeah, the height, the height. I think it's the height that it comes down to. External findings. Violent asphyxia caused by rope around the neck. The neck presented four ring-shaped marks around the entire circumference caused by said rope. Four ring-shaped marks. Like the stretchy things for the... Mm. Yeah. Swollen and slightly scraped knuckles of th on the subject's right hand probably caused recent trauma. So... Interesting. He fought. Internal findings. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seemed sufficiently conclusive. God damn it. Got it. Can we look at the photos? Can we do this, this thingy? Photos, I guess. Time, date of death. PM, 7 PM, evening, violent asphyxia. So he suffocated. Suicide, that's what they say. Ah, uh, whoops. 
Now that I think of it, I better eat at home. It's healthier. <laughs> Probably. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before. Oh, his glasses now... are so stylish. Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. Gotta love him. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Uh, uh, I'm... Uh, I don't know. I'll try, but sometimes there's no alternative. Hard to say. All right. I can't make any promises. In any promises. case, keep me posted, will you? Yes, sir. I mean, friend. Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. See, cats As and always, dogs Smirnoff can get along. As always, me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. Hmm. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. <laughs> All right. Allow new deductions. Deductions, my friend! In front of a diner. Always good. Like now a Mary just sees me out here. Ooh, that picture. Not, not nice. Something fishy. Um... There you go. Hmm. Don was murdered. Jerry got it. Don wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. The clues collected allow new deductions. Ah! I deduct that cats and dogs. I'm much taller than Don. And I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Mm. Not on his own, at least. Also, I could have guessed he was a lynx with those bushy ears, those things on the ears. It's quite lynx-like. Oh! Teleported! Well, that's good news! I, I thought so hard in my brain that I teleported. I love my life. Let's see, what else? Apparently we can make three more deductions. Let's see. Knuckles. Oops, that was the wrong... That was the wrong button. Oops. I thought my brain went down the wrong path and I... I got out of, out of it. Okay, let's see. His knuckles were swollen. <sighs> um... No. Don had four different neck marks. Um, is a no, through pain, no, so much no, no, yes. Oh shit, another one. Um, um, um. Eh? Yes. Bobby, yeah. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Don, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Ah shit, Bobby Yale. Who that again? Who Bobby Yale? Oh yeah, Bobby Yale was his like protective, his the, the fighter, the apparently dog. Apparently he was a dog. I don't know why I thought he was a buffalo. I don't know what happened there. Oh, more deduction. Shit is happening. Knuckles. Um, strong argument. Oh, something else. Um, strangled. Strangled. No. First two were right though. Oh, that probably. After fight, argument. No. Uh, shit. Knuckles. Argument. This is a painting on the scaffold. Oh yeah, the 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 paint. Um. Shit. Paint stain. Oh, one more. Fucky wacky. Yeah, there we go. Dunn must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. Oh. Alright, Dunn threw a can of paint in a dumpster. Okay, okay. Some more, more deductioning to do? Yes, there is. Not much left, though. Um, whew, um, go 
Call off. Strangled. Yes. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? No, that makes no sense. Also, I'm not sure if Yale killed him. Are we sure that Yale killed him? Oh. I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. Oh, because it was in his locker. Um... Too early to say, honestly. I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. Somebody else could have put it there, in his locker. What are you thinking, lady? In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. True. Nothing has changed. Well, I'm sorry. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Yeah, we still have to find the other dude. Maybe the goat has woken up again and can give me a clue. By the way, I wouldn't have expected that most of this game was going to play out in this gym. I mean, I'm not against it, but I mean, it's not entirely true. There's also the diner and uh, his bureau, detective bureau. Yeah, for the moment, no, but there we still have left. There is a smudged racial slur. Weekly took very explicit photographs and who do the footprints at the gym belong to? Well, I guess the murderer. Goat. Goat friend. Goat. Greatest of all times. Can we look at this again? Why. Something just doesn't add Yeah, up. we found out what it was. Never mind. Talk to him again, maybe. Why not? Why not? If we can. Yes. Sorry, dude. I know you're training. Uh, well, keep training, I guess. I like the ambiance of this game. Very much so. Now. Hello, pal. Oh, he's still sleeping. Well, what else do we do? Call Smirnoff? Pro probably we call Smirnoff. Because now we know. What's that thing flying around? Now we just know it hasn't been suicide. And if it's not suicide, it's a case for the police. M. Can I? Not? Can I not call Smirnoff? Well, apparently we have to take the law into our own hands. There is not even the option to call Smirnoff now. <sighs> well. I guess that's what I'm gonna do in the next um, recording session. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Let's hope I haven't forgotten everything until then. <laughs> we'll see.